there are challenges when we're Christians sharing our faith. People say, well, how do you share your faith at work? How do you know what's acceptable or unacceptable? I don't. I just know that I listen to God because I know that God has a greater plan than I do. How many of you are in some kind of war? If you're in leadership, you're in a war against something that's trying to defeat you, yes? Don't go off to war without many advisors. You cannot be perfect. You're going to make mistakes. Don't try to cover them up. You cannot be an honorable leader or an honorable person without courage because your doubts and fears will take you out of doing what you want to do. Now, most all of you here likely have a sense of your calling. That's why you're here. There's nothing quite like knowing you're doing the very thing God made you to do. Take heart because sometimes we have to do the thing God gave us to do before we have the opportunity to do the thing He made us to do. So if you want to know what the future holds, it holds Jesus. If you want to know that what the end of all things will be, it's Jesus. He is absolutely preeminent. God loves you, not because of what you can do for Him, or even because of who you could become if you worked really, really hard. He loves you because He made you just the way you are. In fact, He loves you even when you aren't doing anything at all. I think it can feel oftentimes very lonely being in the marketplace or in the world knowing that you have this conviction about who you are and who you claim to be. And oftentimes I think it's difficult to find people who just relate similarly. So being in a place like this and seeing all the people together uh, on the same page doing the same thing, so I'm, I'm, I was thrilled to be a part of it, glad I could encourage. So a big part of it is actually having to say the success of what I'm trying to do is not the most important thing. Okay. My health, relationally, physically, spiritually, actually creates that success. You know, God leads you to success through the success that He has planned for you, which may not look anything like what you pictured in your head when you were 20, um, but He leads you to that through a growing habit of, of relying on Him and walking with Him. We all have blind spots. We need people in our lives to, to, to love us enough to point out our blind spots, to help us overcome our pride and our foolishness. Stay focused on Jesus, and we've been focused all year long on so many other things, so many other people, so many other issues, and right now we're all focused on Washington, and we're focused on, but it's time for us to lift up our eyes and put our focus on Jesus. I want to exemplify the aroma of Jesus. I want people to say, and ask me, what is different about you? Why do you do this? You need to be who you are every place you are, and I promise you, God will redeem you in ways you can't imagine.